In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen, dearly beloved in Christ and Father Immanuel, Amen. And I like to share with you a touch of God's love, that's a short reflection and prayer on the Old Mass readings of Friday, 10th November 2023. The readings are taken from Romans 9, 1 to 5. Psalm 147, 12 to 15, 19 to 20, and Luke 14, 1 to 6. The theme of the reflection is how to help hardened hearts. How, how to help hardened hearts. In the first reading, St. Paul says, What I want to say now is no pretense. I say it in union with Christ. It is the truth. My conscience in union with the Holy Spirit assures me of it too. What I want to say is this, my sorrow is so great, my mental anguish so endless, I would willingly be condemned and be cut off from Christ if it could help my brothers of Israel, my own flesh and blood. They were adopted as sons, they were given the glory and the covenants, the law and the ritual were drawn up for them and the promises were made to them. They are descended from the patriarchs and from their flesh and blood came Christ, who is above all God forever blessed. Amen. Beloveds, in short, God has given the Israelites all the privileges that could enable them gain salvation. But some of them and not making good use of them. Some of them have not made good use of these privileges. Jesus, the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Twelve Apostles, and many saints are all Israelites. Yet many of the Israelites have not accepted Christ. St. Paul was ready to do anything that could save the Israelites, even if going to hell which is the worst thing a person could experience, could save them. St. Paul was ready to do it. But he ended up by saying, Jesus is God who is forever blessed, which implies that God's will will forever be done. This means that we should never reject or give up or treat people who have hardened their hearts according to what we think. We shouldn't treat them according to what we think, but we should always handle them as God inspires us to do. God is always patient with people until they die. Even at the point of death, they could surrender to him. An example is the good thief. That is why the psalm invites Jerusalem, that is the people of God, to praise the Lord. Praising the Lord is not only with the lips, but with the heart or our way of life. It means... Uh, to do God's will always. Praise the Lord means to do God's will always with our lips and with our way of life. The gospel shows how Jesus handled people who, who hardened their hearts toward him. It says, On a Sabbath day, Jesus had gone for a meal to the house of one of the leading Pharisees and they, were, they watched him closely. There in front of him was a man with dropsy, that is an abnormal swelling of the body. And Jesus addressed the lawyers and Pharisees. Is it against the law, he asked, to cure a person on the Sabbath or not? But they remained silent. So he took the man and cured him and sent him away. Then he said to them, Which of you here, if his son falls into a well, or his ox will not pull him out on a Sabbath day without hesitation, and to this they could find no answer. The signs and wonders Jesus performed fulfilled the Old Testament prophecies about what the Messiah would do. Yet the, is the Pharisees hardened their hearts toward him, but Jesus never rejected them. He continued to do the will of God. He continued to do the will of God without fear or favor. Through that, he is able to save some of them. It was actually not all of them who rejected him. Uh, a few of them accepted him, and so he continued to do the will of God, and uh, he saved some. Dearly beloved, in the name of Jesus, you 
Receive the grace. Receive the grace. Receive the grace never to reject people who have hardened their hearts toward God or toward you. In the name of Jesus, you will always act to harden hearts according to God's will. Amen. Can you share God's love by subscribing to this YouTube channel and share our discussion this message with others? The subscription is free. The icon for subscription is at the bottom corner of the right side of the video. And may Almighty God bless and protect you always the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.